Dan Perry here again with our continuing series on TCPIP basics. Uh, in this is part 16, and in it we will continue to look at building a table of networks, uh, working on a couple of more examples of those tables. Okay, our first problem, we're going to borrow two bits from a Class C network and build that table. So if we borrow two bits, there are four networks. That gives us 64 IP addresses in each network. The fourth octet, remember from the previous example, will start with zero. And in our table, we're just going to look at what's in the fourth octet for simplicity. So we need to know for each network, the network number, network address, broadcast address, first and last IP address. So remember that network numbers start at zero. There are four networks numbered zero through three. The first network the on that last octet, the address starts at zero. And since there are 64 IP addresses per network, what we do is we just, in each network number, going down, add 64. So 0, 64, 128, and 192 for our network numbers. The broadcast address is one less than the network number for the next network, except for the last one, which is 255. So we've got 63, one less than network number 1. 127, one less than network number two, and so on. Now, remember also the first IP address is one more than the network number. So for network two, we had 128 for the network address, so the first IP address would be 129. The last IP address is one less than the broadcast address. So for network two, since the broadcast address is 191, our last IP address that's usable is 190. Okay, take a close look at this table. And it was simple. In the next example, we're going to borrow 5 bits from a Class C. So with 5 bits borrowed, there are 32 networks, 8 IP addresses per network, Again, the fourth octet starts at zero, and we're going to need to know the same information as the previous example. Now, because there are 32 networks, I'm not going to do the entire table. I'm just going to do the first part of the table, and you could continue it at your own leisure. So, again, the network numbers start at zero. I'm just showing zero through six, the first seven networks. Network address for the first network starts at zero. 8 IP addresses per network, so the network numbers going down would be 0, 8, 16, 24, and so on. Broadcast address is 1 less than the next network number, so since network 1 is 8, the broadcast address for, uh, for network 0 is 7. Since network 2 is 16, the broadcast for that network for network 1 is 15. And you can continue down. Again, the last network, its broadcast address will be 255 in that octet. And once again, the first and last IP addresses are one more than the network number for the first usable IP address and one less than the broadcast address for the last usable. In our next video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at building a spreadsheet that will fill out that table and make it much easier for us to uh, build our table of networks.